like while traveling to the Discovery Island. As you can see, all those boats out there. Anchored out there. Anchored out there. This, this is what it looks like inside of this the ferry. The ferry. It's quite fun. That's the parentals. Hi. Yes. Hello. Say hello. Hello, hello, hello. That's the parentals. That's what it looks like inside. So you can see all the boats. You can see the, the bow of the waves are picking up the, uh, yeah. the, the water as they speed along. Yes, yeah, so they just speed along. This is not as fast as the other uh, theories, the one to Macau. They really motor and uh, took you uh, about uh, uh, an hour to travel uh, uh, the distance, which worked out to about uh, 60 miles per hour. That was the speed we were crossing. But this, as you can see, is much slower, and it uh, hasn't got the necessary power to push us forward at such a speed. It's an interesting thing about this is you can see all of the other boats um, are outside here. Yeah. So this is a pretty uh, busy uh, port. This. Uh, there aren't many container ships here, yeah. and if there are, some of those ships are container ships. They've all been unloaded, and they actually see the decks are bare. Um, the ships are pretty even in the water, so they're not heavy at the back and light in the front or vice versa. They're loaded, they're in the distance you can see the island over there. We're not quite sure which island it is. So, uh, it's an island, it's a massive sort of mask uh, up there. It almost looks like it's almost looks quite phallic actually. Like uh, one of those, um, well, those ancient uh, um, Egyptian. Uh, uh, we go into a Bomano um, This trip is uh, um, quite uh, interesting as we had to spend some time here, uh, getting here, crossing bridges, walking through malls, standing at the, and, and waiting for the boat to board. But the efficiency of the, of the, of the, of the transport system here is absolutely amazing. As Mark so often says, he doesn't feel threatened here in any way, he feels 100% safe, which is good, it's a good feeling to have when you travel with Mrs. Mark. It is, it is most definitely the best, I think. But uh, yeah, so that's what it looks like. I will catch you guys up once we're near the island and we can go from there. Okay, which must also, we just bear in mind, it's all very, very misty here, you don't see much sun. Since we've been here, we haven't seen any sun. So I don't know whether it's the smog or the pollution, the sort of people, the motor cars, whatever. But you can see it's very hazy, the view here. Yeah. Um, uh, That's considered the blue sky. There's no blue sky here. There's no, no blue sky. Blue sky. You, yeah. you have to imagine it at times. Yeah, you must just believe that there's stars above because you won't really see it. Which uh, to us, so Westerners, you know, we're used to looking up at the sky and seeing uh, blue skies, seeing the sun and seeing the stars at night. But over here in Hong Kong, whether it ever happens, whether it happens once a year or never, it is anybody's guess. Anybody's guess. Alright, guys, okay, bye.